we continue our program with a special message from a key corporate sponsor and supporter. Microsoft has shown its leadership in the diversity and inclusion over the years. It was among the first companies in Japan to endorse the viewpoint on marriage equality. And today, we are delighted to hear from one of LGBT community's greatest ambassadors, John Galligan, the general manager of global public affairs at Microsoft headquarters. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity to provide this message of support. And I want to also thank you for your ongoing advocacy efforts for marriage equality in Japan. This is an important issue for so many people and particularly timely for me, as only last week, my husband and I celebrated our fifth wedding anniversary. And while it was wonderful to be able to celebrate that five year milestone as a married couple, I also recognized that it took more than 20 years before we had the opportunity to really have the right to marry, despite living in countries such as Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore. But it wasn't until we moved to the United States in 2015 that we had the opportunity to truly come together as a married couple. And at the time, I didn't necessarily think that marriage would actually mean that much to me, particularly after being together for so long, but I was wrong. It did, it does, and continues to do so, both for my life inside and outside of work. For Microsoft, we take marriage equality very important, as a very important issue, and one that we advocate for around the world, because if Microsoft is to be successful, we need to reflect the diversity of the communities in which we operate. And in Japan, one of our most important markets, we have a very large employee base, and we want to continue to attract, retain, and export talent to and from Japan, including our LGBT employees. And that's why it's so important for Japan to join the nearly 30 countries that have recognized marriage equality and help Microsoft, our customers and others, continue to meet our commitments to diversity, inclusion, and equality. And so I want to thank you again for the opportunity to provide this message of support and congratulate the lawyers for LGBT and Allies Network for your leadership. And let's have Japan set an example in Asia for others to follow for marriage equality and LGBT rights. Thank you again for this opportunity and I hope you have a great gala.